when you take your sensitivity to the internet based off your perception and you weaponize against someone yeah, yeah. It, it, without give me, detail. Give, give me an example. Well, an example would be like, you know, Taylor Swift, okay? So she's now upset that a show made a joke about her. Oh, yeah. Which show? Netflix show. Yeah, this Netflix show. So she I've tweeted. Heard of it. So she tweeted out. It's new. Yeah, she tweeted out like, this is lazy writing. And, you know, she made it like she made herself the victim in this situation. And it's like, it's like, damn. So she took her 100 million followers and she has an army of she people. She has a fucking ma- yeah. mad. Oh, and it's like, Swift Nation. if anybody could take a joke, it should be the people in the public eye like that. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's, it should be easy to that be like. That should be light work. Was that a bad was, and joke? The, and the joke was, like, the, the two characters are talking. And the, the, the lady said, the, and the, she says, um, Oh, you go through more men than Taylor, Taylor Swift. She ain't, she ain't lying. The thing is, <laughs> it's not even about that. The, the, the point is, is like so. Then to like weaponize her sensitivity, yes. on her Twitter, uh-huh. I think it's irresponsible. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think it's irresponsible. I think yeah. it's like it's unfair. Or even like it's like it's, it just happened to me in Phoenix. I have joke. I'm, I'm working at these jokes, man. Mm-hmm. I haven't been on stage in a year. I'm working it out. Yeah, I'm working. not making excuses because even if you say something that somebody gets hurt, it's like okay. But I feel like in my mind, I'm making a good point and I, and I feel like I'm coming from a good place. I don't have ill intent, you know? And like I always None of say, us do when we go up there. But yeah, like I say, comic. there's going to be a butt of every joke. And sometimes that butt gets slapped. And people don't like that. Some people do. Some people don't. Mm-hmm. And I get it. So you made somebody upset? She tweets about it, you know? I, I, you well, know what, was, so, what was the topic? Just about transgender. It doesn't even matter. You know, they just I was really upset and hurt and it was hurtful and blah, blah, blah. And I got I, my initial reaction. I was like, fuck you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. you didn't hear what I said. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that's that person's perception. But again, no details. Now, people that weren't even there, what an asshole. Mm. I can't believe this. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Meanwhile, that was one person. One fucking that's person. That's all it takes. But they're, the, what I'm saying is, you're valid to have your feelings. I'm okay with you being upset. And I can even be like, you know what? There's two times you should apologize to people, all right? When you do wrong and if someone's hurt by something that you did, whether you meant to do wrong or not. So I can sit here now and be like, she was hurt by what I said. And And I can be like, I apologize that you were hurt by that, okay? I'm sorry that you were hurt by that. I'm working this out. And now I see a different perspective, actually. Because afterwards, I was like mad, and I'm looking at the jokes, and I'm thinking about them, and then I'm like, well, maybe if somebody could see it this way, so I need to be more clear in how I do this joke. That's all so it is. So, so I'm working it out. But damn, for you to make it now that you characterizing me as a monster because of your sensitivity yeah. and your perception. Anti-transgender. That's that what cancel yeah, culture yeah. is. Correct. Yeah, to make someone a monster. Yeah. So yeah. cancel culture becomes this thing where like without details, without firsthand knowledge, without mm-hmm. you're going to take that sensitivity and you're going to weaponize it. And I just find that that is, I, th- I think that it that's It doesn't a, move us forward. As it doesn't thing. move yeah. us forward. I mean, conversations are what moves us forward. Mm-hmm. I mean, and it's like all I say to people that come to comedy shows or you're talking about comedians, let's assume good intentions first. Before anything. Yes, there are assholes. Yes, there are people clearly trying to be mean. But let's assume that I'm, I don't have ill intent. I'm just working this out. Yep. Especially in my mind, because I'm saying like the whole point of it is to be like, we shouldn't normalize this. It shouldn't matter. Mm-hmm. We shouldn't care about this as much as we do. Now, within that, I'm going to have jokes because I go after both sides. I don't care. Like I, my favorite compliment is when a Republican conservative person comes up to me after my show and goes, yeah, thanks for talking about both sides. You know, and they're not saying to me, why would you do jokes about conservatives? They're going... Thanks for joking about them too. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. you say everybody get it. Mm-hmm. Everybody, everybody get it. Yeah, and, and my thing is like, don't you want to feel normal? Don't you want to be like you're at a show and no matter who you are, you're gonna get it? Yeah, you're good. You're you're yeah, you're you're you're, you're a part of what I feel like because I don't I don't look yeah, I hate when people ensemble. assume my yeah. intent. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, don't assume that. Don't, don't assume, assume my intent. Don't assume. I'm telling you what my intent is. Now, if I didn't achieve that, if I because you know what the real issue is? We're not as brilliant as we think we are. People aren't as articulate as they think they are. Even right now, people are misconstruing what we're saying or they're taking what they want from it. It's actually harder than you think to articulate your point. Yep. And that's why when you're a comic, you have to work on your act many, many times. That's why we go up so much. And it's like in this situation, that wasn't a special that is for public consumption. You haven't been on stage in a year. <laughs> Can we just have this moment in this crowd? Just right here. Can we have this moment? Maybe hit me up privately. Like, 
I didn't like what you said. Yeah. Then I could be like, well, fuck you. And then <laughs> we go back and forth and I go, you know what? You're right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because all my mistake was I tweeted back and then other people and then jumped in. Yeah. And then other people jumped in. This guy's like, you're a, well, what an asshole for responding like this. And I said, you weren't even there. You weren't even there. You know? And then he goes, well, you just <laughs> keep talking. Everything you write. You know what I said back to him? I was like, say, you know what? You're right. I said, you killed them off like I that. Said, I said, you're right. Yeah. Because I'm just upset, man. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't, I, I'm upset by this unfair characterization. That's yeah. what I wrote back. Didn't hear from that motherfucker again. Yeah. Put him on mute. You know? He was oh, also I muted like, everybody right. anyway because yeah. I was like, oh, I made a mistake of even saying anything. Because, you know, if like, you tell me, man, man, I went to this place and, 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 and everybody's getting on me, whatever. And then like, we go, what? They getting on you? Now, all I can believe is you. I, 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 all I can be, but then I come to find out, you know, you were being a dick. Well, you now know? you have detail. I have, you, cancel culture is lack of details, you know? And even these details that they think they get, they think, well, I got details. They said in the story, where's the proof? Yeah. You know, can we see it all first and then go, all right, now let's make a comment on this. All of it. Let's make a comment on this now. But we don't wait for that, and then it runs amok. Cancel culture runs amok. And then it's just out of hand, and there's no putting the toothpaste back in the bottle. Right. Once it's out, then it's just like. And like I'll say again, I have no problem anymore i don't mind that this generation is sensitive we're all what i realize is we're all sensitive sensitive most entertainers are and what athletes I, and you, are and you know what else i realized too it's cancel culture or sensitivity it's always been here they just now have an outlet they have a platform they have a platform it, yeah before they had to write letters and shit. yeah you know, fan, fan mail. Fan Eddie, mail. Eddie yeah. Murphy would talk about it. He yeah. spent, anytime he did a show, he he'd read about it in the newspaper, in the newspaper or something. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. That's how it would be. So now people have their own voice. So I guess I realized, like George Carlin would have got it. He would have been got. Oh, for sure. Okay, just because he was, he had these opinions. You know what I mean? And there would be people that would be like, "You are so insensitive." Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? So you just go. So I get it. So I just feel like it's like it's unfair. You know what I mean? And at the same time, fear another side. Look, Taylor Swift is upset. You know, I, I get it. She's like, damn, my business always got to be the butt of every fucking joke. You know what I mean? Do I have to, you know, so she was mad about that. Mm-hmm. All right. I, I'm with you. Nobody wants to be the butt of a joke. See, the butt of the joke got slapped. That's her ass. Okay. She got slapped, but she clapped back in a way that's like, damn, you don't take you, Like, that's a weapon. Major weapon. It's a major weapon. Yeah. It's like a that time. She's like, abusing her power. It's like that time Bieber... You know, put somebody's phone number or like or or, or, email, or something like, like it's like if Bieber goes, oh, this people, this, look what this person said about me. Uh, 189 million people now, mm. or whatever the see whatever it's the a, true interaction is, yeah. are like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Well, how dare you? Leave him alone. Boom, boom, boom. That's a danger. That's like it's that's a, a weapon. dangerous weapon. You know, but we don't even realize it until you're like, because even I would do that. You know, when somebody says some shit about you and you go, ha, look at this troll, boom. And then your fans are like, troll, stupid yeah. troll, boom, 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 Light boom, that boom. motherfucker yeah. up. They light them up. You yeah. know what I mean? And that's like, is that, you know, it's like you don't even realize the, the, the power that that wields. Man. And someone like Taylor Swift, she's got a national platform. She's got so many followers. She's got documentaries. Worldwide, she's worldwide. worldwide. So if she tweets something, the world looks. She knows what's going to happen. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. She's not. Like, what's she, her she's intent? She's a smart girl. You know, yeah. she might have been at home like, I'm, fuck them. I'm a, a watch. Well, she, the <laughs> she's probably like, I'm sick of this. Yeah, yeah what's her intention? Dana, watch so, this. And, and again, by the way, <sighs> more power to you. But like, you know, don't be like lazy writing, you know. You have songs that are like, I will never, ever, ever. Like, it's like, <laughs> you sound you good ain't right Shakespeare there, either. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I, I love but again, song. but again, I get it. You know, and I'm saying it's like we just don't realize the extent of how far we could go with yeah with with this. And, and it's like you like you that. get the fact that the person has that emotion, like that, that yeah that initial feeling. Yeah, because like, yeah. I have that yeah. initial feeling. Anytime someone talks shit to us, like on- online, yeah, you feel it. You you're feel like, it. You're like, man, yeah. oh fuck. So it. what I'm saying is Taylor yeah. felt it. But it would be like it. you guys coming on your podcast because I do this on my podcast sometimes. Yeah. This guy was talking about like his kid, and this is the third time I'm talking about. This how mad I am about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm actually doing what I said. You know, people should do. do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it right now. About to unleash yeah, 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 on yeah. this, but I ain't finding the kid. Man. I ain't calling the motherfucker out. Yeah. I'm just saying. But well, I'm like, about you're it. not like at Jerry right, 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 right. nine nine nine. <laughs> but but the, this is what an example of the kind of thing. So the guy, like he, you know, he first he, and he writes a comment and calls my girl stupid. Oh, oh shit. Wow. you know, and so. I said, you know, I was like, yo, dude, do you think this is okay? Like, this is not okay. You know, you know, this is some, somebody I care about. On Instagram, you're like, you think this is cool? Yeah, on YouTube. Yeah. I was oh, like, you word. think this is okay, dude? Oh, you responded to the YouTube, YouTube comment. Yeah, yeah, I oh, responded wow. to a YouTube oh, 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 shit. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Deep, I know. 
<laughs> brother. I'm petty as a I motherfucker. I, I, I stop. I stop. You ain't gonna win that. I know, I know. I know. I know. But then the guy writes me back like, "Well, you know, Mike, we I was watching you game. I'm a fan, and my son sent you a super chat, which is like tip, you know. And then he asked to play with you, and then you said, "Why would I play with you? You know." Now, out of context, it's like. You know, I'm like, yeah, when I'm playing, I'm like, you know how many people hit me up to play? Likewise. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about, it's just so nonstop many. messages. Like, here's my here's my Activision ID. I want to play Call of Duty with you. Boom, boom, boom. I can't play with everybody. Mm -hmm. I don't know you. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Why would I play with I you? Know I don't you. know you. I don't know you. I don't know that this is a little kid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what, was, I don't know. What was his tag? Was I, don't, I don't even know. Don't oh, matter. Yeah, you don't I'm not talking about that. I'm just saying, I don't know it's a little kid. But if you watch me all the time, you get my sentiment. My sentiment is like, come on, y'all. I can't play with all y'all. Now, if the kid was upset, if, he, if, if it came across rude to this individual, I get it. I'm sorry. All right? I didn't mean for you to be hurt by my dismissal. But also, $2, you think $2 means you own my time now? <laughs> <laughs> you think you're buying me for $2? Yeah, yeah. So you got $2. Like, oh, dad's let me, like, let me, uh, yeah. Me, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. dad's like, yeah, bitch. Yeah, he yeah. does think that. We sent you $2. So uh, what I'm saying is like, so this guy, again, people take their perception, their perspective, and then they attack you. Were you guys cool though? And I haven't heard from him since because I know he's seen me talk about this now, and he he's must like, be. Yeah. He must yeah, because I let him know. I was like, yeah, I think your bad parenting is really what's going on right His now. Son was <laughs> like, <laughs> letting your kid feel like, oh yeah, you can buy whatever you want. Yeah, you everybody everybody owes you. You want us to buy Eric? Yeah, you can yeah. buy Eric. <laughs> Send that motherfucker two dollars. <laughs> you know what I mean? So what I'm saying is like, you know, again, I get sensitive. Taylor Swift was sensitive. She mm -hmm. was mad. She, she was probably looking stuff. at the yeah, show. Yeah. She was probably like, oh, let me watch this new show. Oh, girl power. It's girls, you know. Yep. It's what, National Women's Month. You know, and she's like going for it. And then she sees this joke. You she know? Pissed. She's in her palatial palace and her like California king. You know what I mean? There's two Asian boys fanning her. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're just, <laughs> two Asian boys. <laughs> just They're just beating. fanning her like this. You know what I mean? There's like, you know, somebody's doing her nails. Whatever. Mm -hmm. And she's just sitting there with all her money and everything. And she's like... Fuck them. Yep. Mm -hmm. Unleash the fury. Fuck them. You know what? Hit the nuke. And she's yep. a celebrity. <laughs> you know what I mean? She has the most uh -huh. engagement interaction with her fans. Yeah, and she's super she's engaged, a you know what I mean? Yeah. So she's great that way. You know, like you you have and that's what's great about see, this is how the the internet we can't that's why you I hope they never get rid of it. It's because the positive is of it. You could be a fan of Taylor Swift. Yeah. And there could be a chance that she goes, Hey, what's up? Yep, what's yeah. up? Yeah. And you're like, it's cool, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, here. Yeah. I mean, even on a small level, whatever it is. I listen. I remember meeting Bieber, you know, at uh, the Laugh Factory, and he took a picture of us. You know, he took a picture and he put it on his Instagram. You know, and I said, "Well, can I? Could you tag me, man?" <laughs> he was like, "All right." And I said, well, "Let me do it for you." And then I was doing his phone, but he was so cautious with his phone. Uh, I remember he was he was gonna grab it because he was like, "Get it?" Because I was going, "Let me see these dick pics." You know, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he thought. <laughs> I don't know what he thought I was gonna look at, but then like he um. You know, and then he tagged me, and then my phone blew up for six months. Yeah, like I had to turn the notifications off because it was like. Damn! Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We just yeah. phone did. Yeah. 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 Bieber's power. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and then I was getting messages too. I was getting messages from like young girls. Like, can uh, you can you tell Justin? Yeah, can you just tell Justin that? Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, by the way, young boys too. Boys hit me up too. Like, oh yes, I I, I, sure. I need him. You know, but I was I like, him. wow. Oh, nuts. Like, I mean, that's like. You know the power is. I, it, it's, uh, well, it was like last night, me and my girl watching that Billie Eilish doc. Have you seen that? Is that good? Have you seen it, Cap? Yeah, I watched it's it. It's fucking good. It's good. You're a huge it's fan of her good. after you see it. A lot of those I are. Love Billie Eilish. Yeah, it was so fucking good. Ariana Grande like, one is good. All, all her, yeah, Ariana like, Grande one is good. One. Yeah. Like, her, her mom and, like, brother did a bunch of, like, just normal camera shit. Like, it's not like. HD, like it's like the dad with yeah. the camera when they're kids. Oh. It's dope, like, man. But you, you, she doesn't talk about it. it's not on her Instagram. But during all this, like when she's just starting to blow, like blow the fuck up, when all those you know Grammys and all that, she has this dude. His name's Q. This black dude okay. who oh. kind of like like she gets she does Coachella and before as she's driving Coachella, she you're you're like. So frustrated at her because this guy's kind of a tool. He yeah. looks like a dumbass, and she's just and she's seventeen. She's it's her first love. How old is and he? She was sixteen. Sixteen. He's probably seventeen. Okay. Legal no, age. he's twenty two at the time. Is he twenty two? He was twenty two at the well, time. Damn. Oh, that's tough. Wait, 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 yeah, he, a lot of people came out after that documentary because they looked him up, and then they were like, "Wait, why?" So I, I told oh, my girl, you told you told me about you hear the, yeah. the tone of her voice. She, yeah. she got a paralegal tone in her voice. Yeah. Objection, Your Honor. I, I didn't know that, but what's interesting. Yeah. What, what, what's interesting is 
as I'm watching the doc, I looked at my girl and went, I bet that dude Q is getting annihilated on social yes. media. Because he's a dick. Like, she's going to Coachella. She's headlining Coachella. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a big That's fucking big. deal. Yeah, yeah. She's 16. Yeah. And she's on the bus to Coachella. And, you know, they're passing billboards of her. Yeah. Album's about to drop. And, you know, she should be excited about that. But she's calling, having drama with this dumbass and uh-huh. she's like are you going baby i love you and he's like oh, you know i'll we'll see acting all cool he's like i'll see and he's like you know i'll do that for you so he gets there and she's like where the fuck i haven't he said he was gonna hang out with me i haven't seen him in two days he took my vip passes what? i haven't seen him in two days and then finally probably sold him finally yeah probably sold him but then finally he, they're in the green room and you know she does her thing and crushes on stage and gets back and she's like where, where are you at and she's like no i can't come to you like i'm I can't leave the, there's fans out there. She's like, can you just please come in here? And he's like, no, nah, you need to come to me. She's like, I, I can't, I'm Billy Eilish. Like I can't come. And I'm just, <laughs> I'm watching, I'm like, this dude, I bet is about, his life's about to change and not for the better, man. How about the, when I get off stage at the Laugh Factory, right away you go, bro, I figure out what you look like. I'm like, what? This is in front of a bunch of other comics. I'm like, what? You're like, you look like a Rottweiler. We got a shit together. Oh, you do, bro. Yeah. Come on, man. I'm just saying, dude. Grab that mic, son. You do. Oh, yeah. <laughs>